Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Plays, The Binding of Isaac. We are going to random here, and it's Kane again. Well, after the last run that we had as Kane, I can't really come Kane about that. It's kind of like complain, but I changed the syllables to rhyme, and that is what passes for humor if you are watching me. So, ah, oh, I think I made a... That was actually a really good decision now that I think about it because I was like, well, I've got one bomb, but there's two different possible choices here. We can trade one bomb for two bombs or one bomb for one bomb plus uh, Tinted Rock. Turns out we were able to get both very, very easily. And also, I'm a total fucking idiot because I could have just not picked up that Spirit Heart and then gone to the Curse Room later instead. But anyway, let's set the stage after we take this pill. Uh, that is a bad gas pill, and it's a perfect segue because on the last run as Kane, we were basically saved and buoyed for the entirety of the run by some of the best pill rotation and frequency that I've ever seen uh, on any run, but uh, a Kane run in particular. I guess Kane usually has uh, a lot of really good pills, but the the question of how many pills you get is always up in the air, unless you have the bottle of pills. We're going to go with Daddy Long Legs, obviously. It's not like we're going to pass up a sweet passive item. Might actually be able to destroy Famine in like two hits, uh, but we'll see. It's going to be obviously very good against enemies that... Uh, are stationary and enemies with low HP. But anyway, uh, we picked up somewhere in the vicinity, and I'm not even exaggerating here, uh, maybe 12 to 14, uh, maybe 10 to 12 uh, HP upgrades just in the form of pills, which is just staggering in its good luck. Uh, and we're going to hope to replicate that to a certain extent. Here we also got the Mark, uh, Spirit of the Night. I can't remember if we picked up anything else that drastically affected our chances of winning the run. Uh, you know what? I'm totally gonna go to this curse room, even though it's gonna cost me a spirit heart, and I was hoping that that was the secret room. And it was indeed, so for two cents, we might as well play this, see if we get a, a good trinket or something like that. Well, two cents for the Empress card is a, a fairly good trade, and we also got the push pin, which occasionally gives us, uh, spectral tears, I think is how that works. Anyway, let's see what we've got in our curse room here. It is, uh, two pills, so this could potentially be an enormous benefit. Pill one is a tears upgrade, I'd say it's already good. And, uh, tears and range upgrade, so I would say that's well worth the spirit heart that we, uh, invested there. So, we will leave and go down to the next floor. Tears upgrade, probably the greatest thing that we got there. It also feels like I have gotten a speed upgrade. Is, does push pin also give you... Does it make you a little faster? I know that it seems crazy, but that's genuinely, like, how I feel right now, is that I'm a little bit quicker than I used to be. I'm not complaining, of course. Uh, maybe the tears upgrade pill or the range upgrade pill also conveys some kind of speed upgrade. I would be very surprised if that were the case, though. So, oh, man, we are rolling in keys so far. I believe uh, Adele wrote a song about that. I don't know why everyone's always talking about 2010. It's all, oh, Adele, Adele, Adele. What about an HP or an Acer? You know, what about a Lenovo or something like that? I don't understand why... The Dell marketing campaign all of a sudden got all these people in its pocket. I heard Adele will even want a Grammy, and I'm like, Jesus. Wait, why not an Alienware next? I don't get it. This is the kind of dad jokes uh, you can come to expect if you uh, follow my channel on a regular basis. So we've got Lemon Mishap. That's a garbage item, obviously. But we don't really have anything else that we can do right now, so I guess we, we might as well just take it because, uh, you know, it, I think it provides... Decent damage, but you have to actually get enemies to touch it, which is difficult. Let's see if this is maybe the secret room. Obviously, we want to get the key regardless, but nope. And the treasure chest also contains a decent sum of money, which is very useful because it might be uh, the difference between judgment working and not working. So this might be the right room for Lemon Mishap, in all honesty. If uh, spider's coming towards me, just drop Lemon Mishap, and that might solve my problems. But I'm pretty sure Daddy Longlegs will just... Uh, you know, destroy whatever enemy I wanted to. We're gonna go back for that penny. Oh man, there was a golden key here? Well, it's a weird situation. For one bomb, I can get that golden key, and maybe I'd be able to open the golden chest? I don't know. L let's go to the secret room, and then we'll play the fuck out of Judgment. Ver instead of going to the shop, although going to the shop might be worthwhile as well. I don't know. I would probably rather play Judgment because he's probably gonna... Oh, I don't have any bombs. I can't go to the secret room. Okay, so we'll play Judgment now, and we'll hope that he pays out with the bomb so we can get more money from the secret room if necessary. Alright, that was actually really good. Uh, now that we've only invested two cents into him, why don't we come back here and pop open this uh, potentially secret room here? That's not the secret room? Is it possible that the bomb that I said was too off-center? The spider web had me freaked out. It was all fucked with the symmetricalness of my brain. Uh, now we have the map. Oh, so there is the secret room. That is in a kind of jacked up position, but we did get the map for three cents, which is pretty good. In all likelihood, if we opened the shop, we still wouldn't have been able to get in, so that's fine. 
Uh, we'll fight our boss, hopefully snag an HP upgrade, deal with the devil combo. I'll probably save the Empress card, and we'll use it uh, a little bit later. So I, I put Lemon Mishap down here. Oh, it worked! It worked so well! It was maybe, you know, one of the top three times in the 630-ish episodes of the Binding of Isaac Let's Play, where uh, Lemon Mishap has actually provided me with some tangible benefit. So, uh, we got a speed upgrade. I would say it's time to go down to the next floor and recaffeinate a little bit. Mmm. Since this is also Northern Lions Coffee Hour, it's a little too hot, I have to say. It's my problem. I shouldn't, uh, I should wake up a little bit earlier, give myself some time to, you know, let the thermodynamics work themselves out, but instead I'm like, I just gotta enter my body as soon as possible, and then, uh, here we are, and I've got a burnt tongue, and now I won't be able to taste whatever I have for dinner tonight. It's a goddamn shame. Looks like the cornflakes are gonna taste like cardboard again. I don't usually eat cornflakes for dinner, although, you know, I'm not gonna be snobby about it. If you do, that's cool. We're gonna take uh, Mom's Pearl, which gives us an increased chance of Spirit Heart Drops, and we're also gonna take Shoop the Whoop, which gives us an increased chance of not hating ourselves, because Lemon Mishap will now be gone. So that was probably not worth using Shoop the Whoop on. My guess is that uh, Daddy Longlegs probably would have sorted that out for us pretty quickly anyway. Now, we do want to go to the curse room, but I do want some, uh, ah, that's exactly what I wanted, some red hearts to appear first. We get double spiders in here. If I get hit twice, I lose. So why don't we just make sure that we're playing this, uh, kind of close to our chest. We can see the secret room, but we have no bombs. We will then try to find a bomb, and we might be able to snag enough money here to then go to the, uh, this is a perfect bomb location, by the way, because it would open the secret room and give us that tinted rock at the same time. But yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll look for a bomb. We want to go to the secret room, possibly get enough money to make it possible for us to go to the shop. Now, uh, I can pretty much just stand still and let Daddy Long Legs do my dirty work for me here. As good as this item is, uh, if, in case you've forgotten, it is absolute garbage when it comes to actually uh, beating the endgame bosses, and this is because it only hits Isaac and Blue Baby once each for whatever weird reason. Which is unfortunate, but uh, hopefully we uh, eventually end up picking up some items that make that kind of irrelevant and we just tear ass on them anyway. So one more hit. Ah, come on Daddy Long Legs, you blew up my set there, you asshole. There we go, so bomb for a key is a trade. I can't really justify. Ah! Oh, whoa, if I get hit by that champion again, I die. Uh, let's shoot the whoop this one to make it a little bit easier for me then. Please, Daddy Long Legs. You've got to kill the champion. And if I die here, I would feel like pretty bad. Obviously. But additionally, I would kind of feel like, you know, I, I tried not getting an HP upgrade at, by this point in the game. It's not necessarily crazy rare, but uh, it is a little unusual. We'll take our tears upgrade for sure. Oh, and what is this? this? Is the Empress card? We might need that on this boss fight now, actually. As much as I'd prefer to save it, um, yeah, like being Kane, having two HP upgrades, and then getting to the third or fourth floor without any uh, additional HP upgrades is kind of surprising. Now that we have a bomb, we can go into the secret room, and uh, our item room must be adjacent to the shop over there. This is also potentially good. Maybe we'll get the damage upgrade from uh, the small rock, but also a spirit heart or some more keys or something. That was a golden chest, which we'll definitely open up. And we got another key for it, so it was no big deal. Okay, so we picked up raw liver from our secret room, which is honestly probably the best course of, or the best uh, outcome that we could have hoped for. Raw liver is a two HP upgrade, which effectively doubled our health and makes me feel a lot more confident moving on here. Now. We also got Polyphemus in our item room, which is crazy good, especially because we've also gotten some tiers upgrades uh, over the course of the game. Two from Pills, I believe, and that might be it, but still, that's pretty good. Let's see what we have from our boss. Obviously, that golden chest is currently inaccessible. I-N-X-S-able. Uh, we're just going to probably back it up a little bit here, because I'm going to be on the creep in a second, which is a little bit unfortunate. Peep usually doesn't like zone you out like this. That's fine, though. A uh, few more hits, and he should actually be dead. Getting Polyphemus is obviously a huge boon for me. Wow, that was really, really easy. So we'll take the crate for sure. This gives, oh, I mean, not like we have any choice in the matter, but this gives us some extra money. A lot of extra money, actually. Uh, and what is this? Two of Diamonds doubles our money. And Guppy's Paw, nine lives. I want neither of those. Well, I kind of want Guppy's Paw, but I can't justify it. Our other tarot card is the Empress. Uh, I, I like Mom's Pearl instead of Blue Baby Soul. So, uh, I think we take the Two of Diamonds into the shop. If we're not fighting Greed, we probably buy whatever item is for sale after we double our money. Probably try to buy another bomb and uh, find access to that golden chest. And if we get like a blue candle or something here, that would be amazing. 
That is notched axe, which is terrible. But I'm still going to double my uh, money and buy the key. The spirit heart, I don't think is worth it because I'll, I'll end up losing it before the end of the game. And I'd rather just exist on red hearts if that's the case. Uh, and one bomb to get a key is a terrible deal. But one bomb to open a golden chest is potentially a very, very good deal. So let's see if we can swing that. Just don't accidentally, like, destroy the rock somehow. Okay. And that is child's heart, which is terrible. But who dares wins, right? So we have the Empress card, and our pill is bad gas, and our trinket is blue baby soul, so we will leave. Because uh, I think we already have the kind of optimal output here. So we're going to really hope for uh, a, an arcade on this floor. And if we are able to get one, that is excellent. Because we'll be able to go to that boss trap room and kind of snowball out of control. Ideally, I'd love to make it happen sooner rather than later, because... Uh, oop. Uh, obviously, with these spirit hearts, this is like the ideal time to play a blood bank when there's very little risk that's actually uh, conveyed to myself. More red hearts. Uh, I will go to those rooms in all likelihood, but I do want to just kind of explore a little bit more first, just in case. We'll play the fuck out of judgment. I'm assuming that he's going to give us at least something here uh, over the course of 24 additional cents. I ideally, I'd love to save 15 cents. These extra hearts do potentially represent more money later. Uh, a bomb payout would be nice. Even even one or two bombs would be beautiful at this point. And we're at the point where we're getting pretty close to needing to gamble to get back above 15 cents, which I don't like. But hey, HP upgrade with 16 cents remaining. Perfect timing. Uh, and we will continue to look for an arcade. And in fact, there is one. And that is absolutely gorgeous for us. So there's one HP upgrade that we've already banked on this floor. We should be able to pick up, uh, in all like, ooh, that's nice too, but we won't pick that up yet. In all likelihood, we'll be able to pick up another, oh no. Now we can't actually bomb, or we can't actually get into the boss trap room because we got an HP upgrade. Oh, that was terrible. Too fast because of the speed upgrade I just got. I mean, these are quality problems to have, obviously. Too many HP upgrades, or like the blood bank paid out with an HP upgrade too fast, but I was really hoping to be able to go to uh, the boss trap room and potentially pick up what's in there. I am honestly a little bit too fast right now. Uh, we do have that Eternal Heart that I will probably pick up just to avoid backtracking. At this point, it's pretty unlikely. Uh, maybe I should save it till the end of the... Until we finish the floor. This is a pretty short floor. It's not like there'd be that much backtracking. Regardless. Uh, we can't get to that. Ability to fly would obviously be uh, amazing for me. I haven't really had an opportunity to pick up a lot of those items that I missed out on, unfortunately. Ah, Demon Judgment. This is perfect, so we can still probably go to the boss trap room. Just want to make sure we don't accidentally... Uh, you know, kill ourselves, of course, that would be bad. He could potentially pay out with an awesome item that is a bad gas pill, I believe. So we'll just use that and kind of get it out of the, the field, more or less, just so I don't accidentally pick it up later and take it with me. Two of diamonds. You know what? I'm going to take that right now. 44 cents is a lot, and now I, I still have the Empress card. And there's a lot of red hearts kind of sitting around here. So uh, I am going to try to play the rest of that Demon Judgment, of course, to get that Deal with the Devil item. Uh, I'm going to pop the Empress card, and I'm going to take the range upgrade. Might seem like kind of a weird choice, but, you know, a range upgrade never hurt anybody. Plus, uh, we could potentially get a uh, red heart drop here. And if we do get a red heart drop, that's just more fuel to kind of fight uh, the... Uh, or not fight, but play the Demon Judgment. Also, you know, two very easy bosses for a range upgrade is a pretty good deal in this man's opinion. So... Let's come back here, and we'll just pick up these hearts for now, and I'm, I'm okay like I, with being pretty... Violent's not the right word, but pretty aggressive with my play here. Yeah, that, that totally worked out, and we got the relic, which I think it should be quite obvious is a, a fantastic return on our transient investment there. So, we'll pick up this, and we'll start going to the remainder of these rooms just to see if there's anything uh, of value in them. So, we got a lot of very good stuff going for us. This is like your ideal... Uh, shoot the whoop room, obviously. We've got a ton of range upgrades. We've got a ton of tiers upgrades. We've got Polyphemus, a single orbital, lots of health, tons of money, decent amount of keys, uh, an eternal heart that is scaring me just a little bit. I still can't get to that. Okay, so I... Uh, we'll just come back for that eternal heart. I don't want to accidentally leave it, which is a definite possibility. But uh, obviously, you know, long term... Uh, Polyphemus is a really good item when it comes to looking towards the future. And the Relic, uh, as well, is going to be beautiful for us. Little Chad, maybe not so much, but it, it's nice to have some extra assurance that some red hearts and half red hearts alike are going to drop. And I'm okay with getting both of those. We are one-shotting these guys with Polyphemus. Some bombs would be nice, honestly. 
Those don't sh seem to be showing up as much as I would like. Okay, we almost accidentally took the tick, which would have been terrible. And we are going to get a second level cube of meat, which is kind of uh, excellent, actually. It does give us the potential to still get a third or fourth level cube of meat because we're so early in the game. And we're destroying pestilence quickly. Now the only thing that can make it better, spirit, or spirit of the night or mom's knife uh, deal with the devil opportunity here. Oh, there's actually a deal with the angel, so a sacred heart would be amazing. There's all sorts of other deals with the angel that would be cool, too, but uh, the Bible is not one of them. So, I would say that it is our turn to uh, go pick up this eternal heart, finally, and get the fuck out of this floor. We have 45 cents, one key. So, considering that I fought greed on this floor, I will probably uh, go to the shop first on the next floor. It's not like we have reroll priority to worry about. We're going to be at seven red heart containers. Two spirit hearts, and, uh, you know, honestly, at this point, I would welcome, like, a lard or a small rock. Anything that would give me some kind of positive trade-off, but also bring my speed down. You know, also, a speed down pill might not be the end of the world, in all honesty. So, Necropolis 1, the more difficult of the two possible floors that we could face here. Daddy Longlegs doing some really good stuff for me, by the way. I, I can't stress that enough. More keys is always good. Okay. I hate this room. This is okay, though. I've got the speed necessary to get the fuck around these guys. Just had to keep the, the mental wherewithal as well, which is oftentimes the harder part. Okay, that is an awesome set of drops for us here. You know what? Yes, let's open this up. We got another bomb. We effectively traded a, uh, a key for a bomb and one cent, which is normally a pretty bad deal. But I'm okay with it in this situation. We should be able to buy another key from the shop. And this is like the easy wave. And then after this, we'll have Zambros, I think. It's always weird, you get like a hoppers, oh man, that killed him in one hit, that's awesome. You get hoppers, which are like crazy easy relative to zombies and uh, angel fetuses, so that's my favorite wave of the three by far. Ah, oh, come on. Having extra speed against zombies sometimes hurts you. So, um, well, because you like dodge into them. It hurts me anyway, it might not hurt you. So I did pick up that Eternal Heart. The fact that we got another one of those is obviously, you know, something we should probably lampshade as being hilariously unlikely. Uh, so I said we'd probably go to the shop first because we could possibly buy a key in there. I think that's still probably something we should adhere to, even though it's very tempting because the item room's right here. Mom's Pearl, or not Mom's Pearl, um, Mom's Pearl is what we already have. Judas Tongue is a very tempting choice as well, in all honesty. We're probably gonna snag deals with the devil at some point for the rest of the game. I would guess, anyway. I mean, obviously we've already had a deal with the angel show up. I don't think that makes it impossible for deals with the devil to show up, though. I think it, it does work the opposite way. If you, t if you take a deal with the devil, deals with the angel can't show up. As far as I know, I believe Bizsnap told me that, so... I'm gonna take that as gospel. Uh, but I, I think you can pass up a deal with the angel, even if one appears, and still get a deal with the devil, so... Hopefully that still comes up, but uh, I think Mom's Pearl is maybe still more valuable. Let's fight Necropolis 1's boss and get the fuck out of- Ah! Okay, this is actually something that's fairly important to keep an eye on. Because I could actually end up losing oh that didn't hit at all that sucks uh, I could actually end up losing enough HP to lose this eternal heart so we're just gonna shoot in diagonally here each shot is uh, extremely powerful of course because we have polyphemus hang out oh, oh yep I uh, kind of fucked myself there we still have one and a half spirit hearts that's okay this has not been a good bloat fight so far he's dead though and we got uh, the damage plus HP upgrade and another spirit heart to kind of buoy my existing health, which is nice. We haven't been to the item room yet. It's important to keep that in mind. We do have bombs now. We might as well go to the secret room, I suppose. Hopefully we get an item out of those instead of uh, money, which is probably not going to prove too useful. Obviously, something like the compass would be an amazing drop for me, though. Ah, that's fine. I mean, we're not going to spend 50 cents in all likelihood. Uh, we'll just finagle our way around there. I still think Mom's Pearl is better. I don't know. Judas, we'd only have Judas Tongue for one more floor anyway, and we couldn't get a deal with the devil on that floor because it's going to have the mom boss fight, unless a very specific set of circumstances happens anyway, so maybe if it was in the early game, I might have made a distinction there. I will replace Mom's Pearl with Flat Penny because it gives us a, a very real chance of getting way more keys, which is actually exceptionally valuable at, at all phases of the game, but if we can at least stack up like two or three extra keys to, to carry us through the mid to late game here, I would be very happy. Uh, no keys in here, sadly. But with 50 cents at this point, I... Oh, please? No. Uh, I really hope that that would give me another key. Uh, I will pick up the ladder, and I will pick up the spirit heart as well, just because our money's already so good. And I will... Oh, man, this is a shitty situation, because I could get that... 
I gotta play Judgment first, right? Please don't explode him. Thank you. Uh, and hopefully he'll pay out with a bomb that I can use to get this uh, Tinted Rock. Otherwise, that kind of sucks. He gave us an HP upgrade. That's probably better than what we would have gone for otherwise. We're gonna be at like 10 HP after this floor, which is stupid and great. Uh, before all of the enemies die, why don't we just stand here and get that green thing to explode. Yeah, one of those rocks. Good. So maybe we can snag a bomb or some money. And the money, of course, gives us the potential of getting a key. Well, we just got a key uh, by itself, which is great as well. Hi, Priestess. Good card in this situation. Now we can actually go to the item room. And I'd say we're done with this floor. No bombs, though. Unless we get, the, you know, if we get bombs in the item room, then we'll come back and blow up that tinted rock and hopefully... Uh, Nope, hopefully get a small rock, and, you know, Bob's your uncle, we're in a better position. But for now, pleased with this. So we'll ignore Judas' tongue. We get Portable Slot, which, uh, to be quite honest with you, might be more valuable at this point than uh, Shoop to Whoop. We'll play it until we get down to, like, 25 cents. Oh, we should actually play it a little bit more, because if it pays out with money, it gives us the potential to get a ton of keys. So we might as well sit here and play it until we get down to, like, 15 cents, if we ever do get down to 15 cents. That'll give us enough money to go to the next floor, mostly, though... Uh, or to go to the shop on the next floor, but mostly keys out the ass here. This is actually a very good drop for us, believe it or not. Normally not a huge fan of, of portable slot, but uh, in this situation it has paid out with like five keys. Now six keys uh, and a bomb, which I will use on that tinted rock back there. And we got one more play here and good. Okay, so that's it. I would say portable slot definitely kind of paid for the key that it took from us. But obviously I would have preferred a, a better item, but still getting those keys could potentially allow me to get a better item in the future. So that was maybe the best use of Portable Slot I've had in a long time. And we get a bomb and a spirit heart out of uh, one of the bombs that Portable Slot actually gave us. So, mostly six keys is amazing about that. We are going to, of course, be getting rid of Flat Penny on the next floor because we have to pick up the Polaroid unless we end up buying Mom's Purse. In which case, probably would have wished to have stuck with uh, Mom's Pearl, but whatever. We'll head down to the next floor, and I'm feeling pretty good about this run so far. Not having the ability to see where I'm going here is annoying, but hopefully it doesn't end up mattering all that much. Uh, the only thing I'm worried about right now, obviously our health is awesome, uh, but I worry about our damage a little bit, even though we do have Polyphemus, just because... Whoa, come on. Uh, just because... I, I don't quite think we're doing as much damage as I would ideally love to be doing, but still. Uh, this is mostly, again, to stack up a fuck ton of keys. We're only going to get, actually... Well, we got all three out of that, which is amazing. And we also got the HP plus speed upgrade from the Blood Bank very early again, which is both a... It's double-edged sword, shall we say. But uh, I can't complain about snagging an HP upgrade again so early, except for the fact that it is, again, possibly costing me access to the uh, boss trap room here, which is annoying, but we ended up getting in last time anyway. What did we get for that? A range upgrade. Well worth the time investment uh, in this situation. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Shouldn't necessarily complain. Use the ladder to take a little shortcut there. And then it's like... I, and at this point, I've already completely lost... Why would why would I just stand there? Uh, completely lost where I'm supposed to be going or where I, I've already been. That's okay, though. Let's actually hit these guys. Uh, that's, generally speaking, the easiest way to kill an enemy is to make sure that your shots actually come in contact with them. I know sometimes it seems like I'm not aware of that very simple yet effective piece of advice, but I assure you, uh, I am. Please let me get a flying item at some point. So, oh, that was real silly of me. And I am starting to play a little bit recklessly. HP upgrade? Bombs are key. Hey, I like it. I like it because it gives us a lot of bombs, which we have not had for a long time. And I like it because it also, um, you know, it doesn't really matter that we are only at four keys now because we do still have flat penny, which we can use to get more keys, presumably. And four keys is kind of enough anyway. Uh, we'll take this pill. Bumfriend can S on my D. I'd rather have the range upgrade. Bumfriend could potentially be useful. We will check out our secret room. Oh, that's so awesome. That's not our secret room, by the way. It's our curse room, but uh, trading a one spirit heart for the pact is a smoking deal. So we have the item room left to go to. That's going to be uh, exhausted here, and then we can just make our way to the boss room. And now... Feeling a little bit better about my damage, and there's another key. We got Able. The, like, silver lining of this is that getting Able now means we will not get Able on the chest for the first time in, like, 20 years. So, with an eye kind of turned towards the end game here, how are we looking? Really good, actually. I, I think we're in a very good position. The scariest thing was our... It wasn't even a lack of damage. It was just, like, that was the weakest part of the run. 
that's changed. Uh, the weakest part of our run, and maybe this was even the weakest part of our run before, but the weakest part now for sure is that uh, we don't have that much in the way of defensive capabilities because we can't fly. And I'm hoping that that will be something that we can rectify pretty soon, but uh, it's maybe unlikely. And this sounds like a weakness, but it actually is kind of a strength. We have a bad spacebar item uh, in Shoop the Whoop. Not in, well, it's not necessarily that the item is bad, it's just that it's not as good. We might as well play this once, you never know. Uh, it's not as good as other spacebar items that would, I would potentially like to have. That was a good play right there. Uh, but what this means is that if something like the pony comes up, I can absolutely justify uh, taking that instead. Okay, so we, we're fighting red version of mom. Kind of an unideal fight for this loadout that I have. Like, the vanilla version of mom, every time that I hit the, like, bodily structures at the side, whenever they popped up, I would probably get, like, 10% of the damage down. But this is fine. This mom is also going to die in, like, four hits. We get pageant boy, which is mostly great because it will potentially give us a fuck ton of keys to subsidize our run through the chest and the cathedral. So we'll take the Polaroid with us. And good. We have a map, but no compass, and we have the Polaroid High Priestess card, which I'll save as long as it's humanly possible. And a glitch, which means I will take this opportunity to caffeine up just a little bit. Ah, big gulps of coffee. Gotta love it. I'm pretty sure I would rather chug, like, a whole cup. Oh, um, do you want to abort this script? No. We will continue, and <laughs> sometimes the game does this. It will eventually recover, but as I was saying, I'm pretty sure I would rather chug like an entire glass of scotch. Like a, a tumbler, not a tumbler, um, like a highball glass of scotch than uh, coffee. Not that I have anything against coffee, I love coffee of course, but uh, it uh, goes down weird sometimes when you have a lot of it. It's much more of a, it's a sip and drink. Anyway, I took Book of Revelations from our library there and uh, eschewed shoop to whoop finally and I did this for two reasons one is now we'll be able to get third level meat boy which people are gonna be pissed about a certain contingent of people anyway uh, because they feel second level meat boy is better I understand the arguments for it um, I happily have to disagree I still prefer third level meat boy old habits die hard you might be right you know it, it might be a genuinely uh, much better version but this is fine but mostly it's like also I get the spirit hearts uh, out of this by taking book of revelations so that is uh, a-okay in my book let's just use uh, meat boy and daddy long legs to clear that up this is not the right way to go daddy long legs crushing some enemies taming the west James West so remember the name I always get the ordering of those lyrics wrong is this guy st seriously still alive daddy long legs will sort him out yeah there we go okay so this is obviously a dead end that doesn't work for us. Um, utero 1? Easier than the womb, is it not? I can't remember. Or was Utero the, the harder version of the... It is. Utero is the harder version of the, the floors that come after the depths. I should know that, considering by now. But, uh, again, I have to offer the fact that old habits die hard. So we'll just take these guys out. And as a result of crushing these spiders, we will get the opportunity to find out if there is another den end up here. Or if we're going to be fighting, uh, in all likelihood, either conquest or death. If we fight the pony, I will probably get rid of Book of Revelations and take the flying uh, passive item instead. And, and be pretty content with it. Oh, that is a sweet drop. Alright, who are we fighting? Uh, it is death. So we will get third level Meat Boy here unless something really weird with the... Uh, random number generator happens. That should tell you how much damage we're doing. We um, only had to deal with like two waves of the scythes or sickles before we got into trouble uh, with the zombie and the pony. But a couple more hits should sort this out. The the health of the horse always seems so inconsistent. Like there's times when I kill it accidentally really quickly, and then there's times when it lives forever. Uh, the miter in combination with the relic is going to make it very difficult for us to be killed as we move a little bit further down here. Uh, if I was a boss, where would I be? Why don't we check at the bottom first? See? I don't know. It, didn't that feel like it, it felt like it had the cadence of something that should rhyme. So between Daddy Long Legs and Meat Boy, uh, third level Meat Boy specifically, we have a very nice kind of assortment of enemies who will do damage without me actually requiring uh, input of my own, which is nice because I, I, sometimes I guess I'll have to kind of steer Meat Boy in the right direction, but apart from that, I like it. Uh, our tarot card here presents an interesting opportunity. It is strength. I don't know how to use this effectively. We're totally going to check out this curse room, though. All right. So that costs us some spirit hearts. 
Instead of using Strength, we'll use uh, the High Priestess card, because if I carry this with me, this could potentially save me from taking, you know, like 10 hits of damage on the Isaac or Blue Baby boss fight if things go badly. Or, you know, conversely, they go really well after I pop the High Priestess card. If things go really well before I pop the High Priestess card, then it might save me, like, literally fucking zero health, but it'll still make the experience that much more palatable in general. So, it would be awesome to snag the HP upgrade here from Gluttony. I kind of doubt that it'll happen. We did get a Spirit Heart as well, though, or in, instead, uh, which is almost as valuable at this point in the game, in all honesty. I, I'll think about it. <laughs> There's a very interesting possibility uh, awaiting us down there. So, I mean, the extra spirit hearts are obviously awesome. Why well, even go to this room, right? Like, there's no point. I'm just going to take damage for no reason. Can't really afford to do that. Please, secret tinted rock. No. Okay. So, I mean, I understand the benefits here. I can't fly. I, I'm going to blow up that demon judgment if I try this. So, it would be fun. But I think it would also get me killed and make me not so happy. So I'm just going to stick with the run that I have. You know, if it ain't broke, don't fix it, right? I'm, I try to follow that advice all the time. In fact, even in my household life, if it's broke, don't fix it. Just be lazy. That's my uh, ethos, mostly. We know what this pill is, but I don't remember what it is. It's a range upgrade. I kind of wish I hadn't risked my life walking on spikes for it. Yep, and... Well, effectively, let's be honest, boil it down to its most basic mathematical equation. I traded one spirit heart for a range upgrade. Is that okay? Yeah, it's fine. You know, there's there's trades that are harder to justify. It's an arcade where I could basically go to that boss trap room again, but I'm, I'm trying to save my health at this point because I don't want to be the guy who accidentally ruined his own run by killing himself like a fucking idiot. So if Meat Boy, you could sort this out. I guess if I stop moving around, that would probably be easier on you, huh? We will um, then find our boss room, which basically has to be over here. I feel like this run, uh, I shouldn't necessarily say this at this point because it could end up with egg on my face, but I do feel like this is a one run and I am basically just uh, kind of going through the motions to not fuck it up. Between the miter and the relic, the amount of spirit hearts I'm getting is just stupid good. Uh, beyond that, everything else is, is just kind of falling into place for us. And this time we did it without getting a staggering number of HP upgrades by way of, uh, man, that's a lot of spirit hearts. By way of pills, instead, we uh, picked up a lot of eternal hearts, which is exceptionally lucky. And we also uh, got a lot of blood bags. Well, two, which is honestly kind of a lot. That's certainly more than you'd get on an average run. Okay, I did manage to get hit there. I had a feeling it would happen. It was just it was too good to be true for too long. Uh, please actually hit this guy. Thank you. All right, so we'll find Mom. This should be easy. I am not going to use my High Priestess card yet. I may use... Oh, come on, Meat Boy. Work with me. Help me help you here. Uh, I may use it on the Isaac fight. Thank you again for moving that bomb out of the way. Much appreciated. Uh, but I'll probably save it for the Blue Baby fight because I'm, I feel very confident that we can defeat Isaac easily. So why not stack up advantages uh, for that final fight instead? So we got a Spirit Heart there, which kind of makes me feel better about all of the bombs that I've wasted and the health that I've lost on this fight already by being a big dummy. We're fine, and um, yeah, we, we should have basically no risk to us here. Like, every shot that actually lands from us is like 5% of Mom's heart's total health. Remember that that deal with the Angel Room doesn't actually contain anything of value, and we'll go up to the uh, Cathedral here, and I'm guessing top left seems like a pretty convenient location for this boss fight. Hey, we found a secret room. We should probably know where that is in general, I guess. Uh, I'm not even going to take the money. Go on, take the money and run? Well, how about just go on and run? I, what am I going to do with more money at this point? Just wasting my time. Plus, it makes me feel good to tell the random number generator to go fuck itself. And now, there's a room we didn't find before. The second secret room contains Kane's eye. Uh, not very much value for me inherent there. Where would I be if I were a boss room? I think bottom left is the smart money now. We could go back to the secret room and use it as, like, a portal to travel around. What's the point? We're already strong enough that we can just do this the new-fashioned way. Which is actually the old-fashioned way, i.e. walking. You know, in the future, when flying cars are the norm, walking is going to be an artisanal thing. It's like making your own bread or something. People are like, you walk to school? I took the fucking laser beam highway. They transfer, transform your matter into a single photon and then shoot it across the universe. Beams you wherever you want to go instantly. And I'm like, yeah, I walked. It was just like down the cryo, cryo street. 
I don't know if Cryo Street makes any sense. When I talk about the future, essentially, uh, just add Neo or Cryo or, um, I don't know, Chromo. The Chromo doesn't even make any sense, but uh, it, it sounds futuristic, right? In the future, everything's Chrome or, like, Matt White. Anyway, Matt White, uh, quarterback for the uh, Baylor Tigers as well. Uh, let's go to the left here. That is our boss room. I thought I would get that. So I'm imagining that this fight against uh, Isaac is going to be incredibly easy without any orbitals. I'm going to take some damage. No question about it. Uh, I, I should be able to dodge effectively. As of right now, I guess I'm choosing not to. And if we can manage to save this High Priestess card for our Blue Baby fight, I got a lot of hope for us. I wouldn't be surprised if I ended up losing out on um, all of my Spirit Hearts here, in all honesty. I think that's totally within the realm of possibility. And if we lose some Red Hearts, you know, shit happens, right? We'll get some more Spirit Hearts back on the next floor. Might even find ourselves in a position to use permanent Polaroid Invincibility, depending on what items we get from the chest. I don't know if Guppy's, head can actually, or Guppy's paw can actually show up uh, in chest items. If it can, though, that would be awesome. As you can see, we are tearing shit up here. Should be basically, uh, again, no risk for us. And if we manage to take like even close to our full health into the chest, uh, I, I feel pretty good. So there go all of our Spirit Hearts. That's fine. Uh, I'll probably lose another heart or two on this fight if I had to guess. There we go. And Blue Baby will die. Or sorry, Isaac will die here. We can get to a half heart interval very easily. Actually, a very nice position to be in. And I'm a little bit more worried than I was coming into this floor. But my health is good enough and we get four free items here. So let's see. Game Kid. Mom's Bra. Ten Bombs. And Magneto. You know, uh, I think it's fair to say that this is not maybe what I was looking for from this floor, uh, but it's not terrible. So, Mom's Bra is gonna be the item that we choose to, to roll with from a, uh, you know, game ending perspective. And I think that's a smart, oh, I should definitely get out of the way before Gluttony chooses to attack, yes. Uh, I think this is a smart play for us. Mom's Bra will allow us, allow us to freeze the enemy, obviously. You know, this death card is a pretty good choice to take down here, I think, even though I took damage like immediately after using it. Uh, we'll be able to kill these guys right away. We got a spirit heart out of it. Bob's your uncle. No big problem. So we know that this is a dead end now. And that is fine. That's uh, one kind of level sorted for us here. We can speed through there. We have the, the speed necessary to make it happen. Mom's bra is a once every three rooms item. So as long as we save a little bit for Blue Baby, combine our existing damage with High Priestess, we should be very good. Tears up. Okay, that's another good pill that I'm, I'm glad I took. Lust is our principal enemy here but also very easy to kill because of the in insane speed we have so I'm trying to kill wrath uh, before killing sloth because sloth can give us another tarot card and those tarot cards could potentially be of enormous benefit two of diamonds probably not gonna be so one such uh, trinket on this one but that's okay this is also a dead end I do not think it is at all that was a terrible dodge I don't think it's at all worth using uh, Mom's bra on this room. I'm gonna be fast enough to get around war even though I am taking some dumbass damage here uh, I also have the the damage necessary to kill war very very quickly once I knock him down into that like permanent running state and uh, Again, he can't catch me. I'm, I'm far too fast So another hit or two daddy long legs will help me out and we get another spirit heart and we get back to a half heart interval So uh, is potentially yep another dead end here This is a room that I am uh, content to use mom's bra on because we know that we have a long Way to go until the boss actually uh, shows up, so I can't afford to use Mom's bra and get some charges back. Now, um, we can only conclude that the boss room is going to be on that far right side. Kind of a long walk, that's okay though. I could use Game Kid to essentially clear out one room for me. Uh, as long as it doesn't cost me a Mom's bra charge, I may consider that. I can also use Game Kid as uh, basically just like a, a health boost. So I'll probably try to do that before the boss room if Mom's heart is ready to go. Just smart play, in my opinion. All right, this should be another easy room. So Mom's Bra is going to be ready uh, after this. And then maybe we use Game Kid on a room and just uh, take the extra HP and run, I guess. If necessary. It might not be necessary because I'm already at a half heart interval. Uh, and this is our boss room, so it's not necessary. I think we're good. But it is going to be a little scary. So we'll High Priestess and we'll Mom's Bra. And then we'll just get the fuck out of the way. And that has already done a lot of damage. That was mostly Daddy Long Legs. Why is this... What the fuck have I done? This High Priestess... <laughs> oh, High Priestess is totally not the uh, Empress card, by the way. Uh, I'm not sure if anything in my diction made it seem like 
I knew that, but basically I was under the impression this entire time that I was holding the Empress card, not the High Priestess. Was I not? <laughs> For a while? Oh, I used the Empress card on the, uh, the boss trap room like four floors ago. Okay. My mistake. Well, you know, apparently you can make some mistakes in Isaac and still have a pretty good chance of succeeding. So we're about to win in all likelihood. That'll be two cane runs in a row. And uh, two fairly comfortable cane runs in a row. In all honesty, this one was not that difficult at all. We'll just continue holding the button down here, and uh, we'll be good to go. Keys to success there. Again, very good luck with HP upgrades. Uh, and, you know, Miter plus Relic plus Polyphemus makes it very difficult to lose. As always, if you enjoyed the video, I encourage you to subscribe. If you want to see more Daily Isaac, there is a convenient link in the video description below. Uh, or you can just click on the subscribe button under this video frame itself. As always, if you enjoyed the video, also consider clicking the like button. It does help me out a lot. Plus, it's the only way I can get sexually aroused anymore. And, of course, civil comments telling me what you liked or disliked about the video. Especially when it comes down to me getting confused about tarot card effects. But in any case, I hope you enjoyed the episode. I will be back with another Isaac episode tomorrow. As always, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you next time.